When two carboxylic acids combine and in the process a water molecule is lost, we form a compound known as a carboxylic anhydride. So in this lecture we're going to discuss how we can form the carboxylic anhydride from our carboxylic acid as well as the acid chloride. So to actually form our anhydride, we need a molecule known as the acid chloride. So the first step is to actually form this acid chloride. So let's discuss the reaction mechanism for the formation of the acid chloride. So we begin with a carboxylic acid. We take the carboxylic acid and we react it with the following molecule. So basically this acts as our Lewis acid, this acts as the nucleophile, the Lewis base, and these two electrons on this oxygen basically act as the nucleophile attacking this cell for displacing our pi bond. Now you may be wondering why is it that these electrons on this oxygen attack this sulfur but not these electrons. Well, if these electrons of this second oxygen attack the sulfur, we would not form a resonance stabilized structure. Only the nucleophilic attack of this oxygen actually forms two resonance stabilized structures as shown. So we basically have the delocalization of positive charge between this electronegative oxygen and this electropositive carbon. So in the next step we have one of these good leaving groups, our chloride molecules, being kicked off so we have an elimination reaction taking place. We have a double bond, a pi bond reforming between the oxygen and sulfur kicking off one of these chloride atoms to form the chloride ion as well as this molecule that contains a positive charge on the carbon that is also resonance stabilized. So actually there are two other resonance stabilized structures on which the charge is delocalized onto this oxygen as well as this oxygen here. Now in the next step this chloride basically acts as a nucleophile attacking this carbon and forming this intermediate here. And then this intermediate basically uses the fact that this is a good leaving group and these two electrons form a pi bond between the oxygen and carbon displacing this single bond and this single bond goes on to form a double bond between the oxygen and sulfur kicking off this bond between sulfur and chloride because this is a relatively weak bond. So we form this intermediate, we form the sulfur dioxide as well as the chloride ion. And in the final step, this Lewis base deprotonates the oxygen, this takes off this H atom forming the final product of this reaction, the acid chloride as well as HCl and SO2. So now that we form the acyl chloride, the acid chloride, we can use it to form our anhydride from a second carboxylic acid molecule. So in this step we used one carboxylic acid, in this step we're going to use a second carboxylic acid. So we take this carboxylic acid, mix it with some type of base, the base deprotonates the H off of this oxygen forming the resonance stabilized carboxylate ion and this acts as a nucleophile uses its electrons on the oxygen to basically attack nucleophilically the carbon on this acid chloride displacing this pi bond and forming a bond between oxygen and carbon as shown in this section. So this is our bond that is formed. Now, in the final step of the formation of the carboxylic organic anhydride, we have this bond basically closing in. So we have a pi bond that is formed between the oxygen and the carbon, displacing, eliminating this good leaving group, our chloride ion. So the final step involves the formation of the anhydride as well as our chloride ion. And this completes our reaction in which we form our carboxylic anhydride from two carboxylic acids, so one and two, as well as our acid chloride that we formed in this step. 
So we see that we combine these two carboxylic acids and in a process we only have one of these oxygens actually left over. So we see that this entire group is basically lost and this H is lost and only one of the oxygen actually remains in the final product. And that's exactly why we have OHH. So H2O is essentially lost. So we combine the two carboxylic at or the two carboxylic atoms, a water molecule is lost and we form the anhydride molecule, also known as the carboxylic organic anhydride.